Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday evening. I am Zara Premji, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Markham, Ontario, Canada, and I am here for your weekly Wednesday crafting show. Uh, for those of you that are joining me for the first time, I try to do a Facebook Live every Wednesday. It's usually at 2 p.m. Um, and I share at least one, sometimes two, sometimes three projects using Stampin' Up! products. And um, uh, like I said, I'm normally on at 2 p.m., but I started work this week. So I work for the school board and I have been off for the summer. And I started back at work this week. Normally I'm off on Wednesdays, but uh, today we had an all-day meeting. So that's why I'm coming to you now. It's 8.35. I was supposed to be on at 8.30. But I'm a little bit of a hot mess today. Uh, I was working all day and then I was um, invited to speak on my friends team's Facebook group and I've managed to just get my desk tidied up so that we can craft together. So I am just going to pull this up on my computer so that I can see comments and respond to them. Hi Maureen, hi Mary, please say hello as you're logging on. Um, I can't tell you enough how excited I get when I see comments coming through and knowing that I'm not just talking to myself and that people are here with me and hanging out. So please do comment as you are um, jumping on the video and if you are watching the replay, I would still love to hear from you. I am having trouble seeing comments on my live video on my computer. So I'm just going to, there we go, I think I've got it. I think I've got it now. So in a few minutes, I'm going to point the camera down and I will show you, you'll see my desktop surface and I'm gonna share with you a few announcements and then we're gonna get crafting. To give you a little bit of a heads up, we're gonna be making two projects today and I'm using the Love of Leaves bundle in the holiday catalog, which I will, excuse me, show you in the catalog as I point it down. Um, anything that you see here today can be ordered from my online store and I have an ordering special which I will include in the comments, sorry, in the description. So any order of any size is going to get you a free tutorial bundle and myself and nine of my tutorial bundle friends have put together a mega tutorial bundle featuring 10 fall and 10 Halloween projects all in one tutorial bundle. So you can, if you place any size order with me, you're going to get that tutorial bundle or you can purchase it for $15. Um, and also if you place an order of $50 you or more, you are going to get a free embellishment. And then if your order is $100 or more, you're gonna get an embellishment and something else. So I'm gonna put all of those details in the description above as well as a link from where to shop and all of that other fun and stuff. So I'm just going to say hello to a few people I'm seeing here. Hi Terry, hi Reshmi, hello Lori, thank you for joining. All right, so we are going to have some fun doing some fall crafting and like I said I'm going to share a few announcements and then we'll get started. So look away for a second so you don't get dizzy and I will point this down. Oh there we go. That's fairly straight. I'm just going to shift the camera over a little bit so that you don't see my camera stand in the picture. Oh, thank you, Reshmi. That's very nice of you to say. And hello, Lorraine. You're just dropping by. That's totally fine. Hope you can stay for a little bit. All right. So we are going to be playing with the Love of Leaves bundle. If at any point you can't see things properly or, it, uh, you know, the view, um, like if there's any obstruction to your view, then let me know and I will adjust it, okay? Uh, hopefully you can see most of my surface right now. Okay, so we are going to be playing with the Love of Leaves bundle. This is in our holiday catalog. And if you don't have a copy of the holiday catalog, and you don't have a demonstrator, comment below or send me a message and I will pop one in the mail for you as well as a little goodie. Um, this bundle, I have to tell you, I felt I, I fell in love with the projects in here, but I didn't order it right away because I was going to invest in a different fall bundle in the holiday catalog, which is called the Gilded Autumn Suite. So I bought all of the products in this suite and I thought, I probably don't need more than one fall themed suite. And then of course I started to see projects and then I decided I needed to get this bundle. So I have fallen madly in love with it. 
Um, what I really love about this stamp set in particular is that, uh, well, first of all, it's got coordinating dies, which we're going to be using today, but I really love the sentiments. Not only are the fonts super cute, but I love that the sentiments can be used year round. I'm so glad you're in my life. Thank you. I thought of you today. Hello. Your friendship is something I know I can count on and hope changes everything. And don't we all really need that sentiment right now? So I love the sentiments in it. And then I really like the dies. So there are coordinating dies that will cut out all of the outlines of these leaves that you see here. But then there are additional dies that will actually create a stitched sort of veining on all of the leaves, which is amazing. And you'll get to see that today. So um, before we get started with the crafting, I'm just going to set this aside and I'm just going to share with you a few announcements. So for those of you that um, you may find as you watch this crafting show that you'll start to get a wish list of products that you really want to buy. And if you are not already a demonstrator, then this is an amazing time to get our starter kit. So the starter kit, the name is a little bit misleading. It's not um, a kit that's already pre-selected it basically is a deal so normally the deal is that you can choose a hundred and sixty five dollars in product anything that you want and you get you get it for 125 no tax no shipping okay so you're essentially getting forty dollars in product for free that's our normal year-round deal for the month of September the deal is like nothing I've ever seen before it's called our get and go starter kit promotion this might even give you a little bit of a sense of what's included, but in addition to your $40 in free product, which again is anything, you can choose $165, you're also going to get 16 card packets, okay? So there are going to be eight of this card packet here. This is called, this is Granny Apple Green, and then there are eight Coastal Cabana. So you can actually get started with making 16 cards right away, or if you wanted to get a group of friends together, either in person or virtually, you could actually have card kits already ready for them. So you may wonder, well, what am I going to stamp those card kits with? Well, you're actually going to get two stamp sets in your package okay so these are free so the value of those two together is fifty dollars i believe that the queen anne's lace is 23 and so much love which i have right here is 27 dollars. so you're actually getting fifty dollars in stamps for free and then you're also going to get a package of rhinestones which are valued at 675 canadian so when you look at the total value of all this product that you're getting for free it's about 90 dollars in addition to what you're going to select as your starter kit wish list products okay so if you add it all up you're basically getting uh what's 165 plus 90 so 255 in product that was some quick mental math there i hope i got it right 255 dollars in product and you pay only one 125 no tax no shipping there are some additional perks that go along with that you would be joining my team which means you become a part of our community and we have um, lots of great inspiration encouragement friendship support it's I think it's a really great place to be um, and I think right now having community and friendship is more important than ever and we do a lot of our connecting uh, virtually right now so we do um, our monthly team gatherings via zoom and then we have a monthly Facebook sorry we have a team exclusive Facebook group you'll also get a 20% discount and lots of other perks so that's that I have currently lost my flyer for my upcoming stamp camp, but I will say this here. I am doing an event with Brandy Barnard, who is out in Utah, and we have partnered to offer our second stamp camp. Stamp camp is an event where you're going to make 10 cards. You will get $50 in product. You will watch product demonstrations, and you'll get to just enjoy and relax, possibly win prizes. You'll see virtual displays. Um, there will be some treats and goodies in your package. The registration for that is ending on Friday so you can check the events on my Facebook page and you will see more information there. I'm going to also talk to you about our new stamp and cut and emboss machine um, and that is our new cutting and embossing tool which I'll be using today on both of the projects that I'm going to be showing you um, but this has actually been something that us uh, we have been waiting for a really long time for so uh, it's a fantastic new tool I think it's a staple in anyone's crafting it does dry embossing and die cutting which is amazing and adds a lot of depth and character to your projects I love it so much more than our previous tool um, and I'll talk a little bit about some of the features of it as 
I'm using it, okay? So without further ado, let's get started with our crafting, okay? So we're gonna be making two projects today. The first one is a gorgeous card using the Lovely Leaves Bundle. And I'm also using the perfectly, sorry, the Plaid Tidings Designer Series Paper. You can see I have cut into a lot of this. This is a package of six by six Designer Series Paper. And you get 48 sheets of different colors and patterns. And you know, Plaid is all the rage right now. So this is actually one of our best sellers in the holiday catalog. And um, I love that it actually has colors on it that will coordinate with multiple seasons. So you can see there's some here that would work really well for Halloween. And then you've got a really nice selection of fall, uh, Christmas, and then lots of lots of patterns that you can just use for anything. So like any time of year, birthdays, masculine, feminine, um, just so many, the sky's the limit. So I love this paper pack. So we're gonna be using that today and um, a few other additional coordinating products, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna just pull out, we are gonna be doing it in a slightly different color, okay? So I've used um, the Pretty Peacock uh, colored plaid paper on this one. We're gonna change up the color scheme a little bit and we're gonna go with what, uh, with Rich Razzleberry, okay? So, first things first, I'm just going to use my bone folder to fold this down and I'm just gonna adhere my designer series paper so that it doesn't go missing, okay? So I have my card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half and my designer series paper measures four by five and a quarter. So I've just cut a quarter of an inch smaller in the length and the width. And I'm just going to stick that down, okay? So next I've taken a piece of very vanilla cardstock and we are now going to use our, the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine to create a texture on here, okay? So I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, a bit of a, texture to this and then I've done some splatter on there which I'm going to show you. So I'm going to use my, if I can get it out, the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder and I'm going to get out my stamp and Cut and Emboss Machine. So this is the first, um, this is the first thing I'm going to show you that this can do. Some of you already have this, I'm sure you're in love with it the way that I am, but for those of you that are newer to crafting or don't have this tool, I'm just going to show you how you use it. So you're just going to put your cardstock into this embossing folder and when you get the stamp and cut and emboss machine it comes with all the plates that you would need to be able to use it right away. You don't need anything additional although there are some additional plates that you can get with it. What I also really love about this is that everything is numbered so it actually tells you what sandwich you need to make for whatever tools you're using. So here it says using with 3D embossing folders so you need number one which is this platform here and then you need your embossing folder with the cardstock and then you need number four so I've got my number one and then number four is a specialty plate so it's a little thicker than our clear plate and this is just going to add the thickness needed to be able to create that embossed texture so I'm just rolling it through all right and it actually doesn't take very much strength and I'm just going to move this out of the way, <clears throat> excuse me, and you can see that it's created this gorgeous texture here, okay? So before I do anything else, I'm actually going to create the splatter effect on this, on the background here, okay? So I'm taking my Rich Razzleberry ink pad, and then I'm going to just take a clear block. So I've, I haven't put any stamp on here, I'm just going to take the clear block, and I'm just gonna smush it into my ink pad, okay? And then I'm taking my water painter. This is gonna get a little messy. I'm just gonna take my water painter and add a little bit of water just to dilute the ink here, okay? And then, okay, I'm guaranteeing this is gonna get on something that I don't want it to get on like maybe my clothes but that's okay so I'm just taking I'm just uh, picking up some of the ink here and I'm just tapping it against my bone folder okay so that just creates this little splatter background effect and then you probably just want to clean that off on a tissue 
I usually have a little kind of um, like a dish rag or something in my drawer where I just clean it off, but I, I think I've put it in the laundry. So just going to clean that off just so that the ink doesn't stay and then it's good for using again. And I'm just gonna move that right out of the way so that my hand doesn't land in it. Okay, so while we have the ink open, I'm gonna do some stamping. And I'm just going to take out the pieces that I need here. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna take this big leaf here and I'm gonna stamp this in rich razzleberry. And so I'm just waiting for the background to dry. And I'm just going to stamp that down in rich razzleberry. So it's a nice intense color, but it will actually lighten up a little bit. Whoops, there goes my light. And then I'm going to use Bumblebee, which is one of our new in colors, and stamp the other leaf. All right, so we'll stamp those two together and I'm going to cut them both at the same time. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm going to move some things out of the way here because I'm going to bring back in the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I need to come up with a new name for it. So while you are watching, if you can think of or share um, whatever you are going to call it, I've heard Big Mama, Big Papa, SCEM, which is the uh, initials of it, stamp and cut and emboss machine, so S C E M. And uh, I would love to hear if you have a good name for it. Okay, so let's pull this back in. Hello, Celia. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Okay, so now because I'm doing some die cutting, I need one, two, and three. Okay, so I need my platform and then I need this, um, I guess it's like a cutting pad or something or maybe it's a shim, I guess you could call it, and you use this with thin dies, and then you need your clear plate. So hopefully you can see that on the screen. I'm gonna put one clear plate down. Now, our, we have a magnetic plate that can be used with this. I don't have it yet. It became available yesterday, I believe, and so um, I will be getting it. So now I'm just going to put my dies on here. The magnetic plate is great because it holds dies in place. So I'm now taking the inner part of that leaf that has the stitching on it. So that's gonna, I'm just gonna do them both at the same time and try and line that up as well as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could use uh, washi tape or even a post-it note to hold things down, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with it and hope that it all works out. Yeah, it is a mouthful. Okay, what are you calling it? Are you calling it anything? Are you still, are you still calling it the stamp and cut and emboss machine? All right, so I'm just going to set this down like so. I don't wanna move my dies. So it's okay if it's not perfectly level as long as, watch me regret that. Um, as long as they're more or less lined up. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna move all of this. Let me put this down and I'm gonna just get this tool out of the way. Okay, you didn't even think to rename it. Okay, well maybe we need to, maybe we need to issue a challenge. Maybe this needs to be a contest to rename this tool. Okay, so we are now going to start assembling the card. Most of the work is done. I'm just using my Stamp and Seal Plus. If you don't have our new adhesives, I would definitely recommend them. It took me a little bit of time to get used to it, but I am really loving it. I, I like both. I have the Stamp and Seal and then the Stamp and Seal Plus. This is meant to be a little bit more sticky, I guess you could say. Um, and so really now all I'm doing is I'm just going to stick down the leaves where I want them. And you can see how, how nicely that's going to come together. Okay, I did almost forget my sentiment, so let me do that quickly. I'm going to get the Blackberry Bliss ink, and I'm just using a piece of crumb cake cardstock which measures two and three quarters by three quarters, okay? So I'm using the sentiment that says, I'm so glad you're in my life. And I'm just going to stamp that right on here. I was tempted to do some heat embossing, but I, um, 
I actually just really like how the classic ink looks on the crumb cake. I'm just going to clean this off quickly so that the ink doesn't stain the stamp, which it probably already has. And then I'm going to show you another tool in our holiday catalog. This is called the... Hmm... I wish I could tell you the exact name. If anybody knows the name of this punch, please tell me. I think it's the Pick a Banner punch. Um, so I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to call it that, and then we'll see if someone corrects me. Okay, so I'm just taking, because it's a three-quarter inch width, I can just put it in one of these tracks here, and then I'm just lining it up at the back just to make sure that it's fairly centered. And I think that's pretty good. I think I might actually do this side again. Hopefully I won't cut off the sentiment. Okay, so that's that. And now we are ready to stick everything down. So I, one of the other things I wanted to show you that's part of um, one of the Gilded Autumn Suite is our brushed metallic cardstock. What you're seeing here is a six by six piece, but they actually come in 12 by 12 sheets and you get two of each color. So this is sort of the uh, bronze and then this is gold and then this is copper. I think that's what you would call them. Um, and I love them. I love that they've got actually like a bit of a lined look to them. Like, I don't know if you can, I don't, it almost looks painted in a way. So I've used that with one of the dies to create this gold leaf. And I'm just going to start layering them on. These leaves lend themselves really nicely to layering. And just gonna put that down like so. And then I'm gonna put my black, sorry, not my blackberry bliss, my rich razzleberry leaf just on top like that, okay? So that's gonna go there. And then we need some dimensionals, which are right here. What do you think of this card so far? Do you guys like it? I, you know I'm gonna ask, you know where I'm going with this because I've done two different colors. So you guys should probably be able to predict what I'm going to ask you once my card is done. I'm just going to move these dies out of the way because I want them for the next project and I'm sure to lose one. Let me put that there. Okay, so that's going aside. And then I'm using maybe my most favorite trim in both catalogs. This is from the Forever Greenery Ribbon combo pack and it comes with this um, off-white colored ribbon and then this beautiful gold trim and um, I keep I keep going through the gold trim and not I'm going through the gold trim much faster than the white ribbon so I have about four rolls of the white ribbon left and this is my last of the gold trim so I really really am hoping that Stampin' Up! one day sells this stuff on its own because I would I would hoard that stuff guys I would totally hoard it okay so I'm just going to stick down this gold bow and I'm just gonna put that right above here like that okay so that is almost done I'm just going to embellish with some pearls and I'm using because I feel like there's already a lot going on on this card I'm just using the metallic pearls in gold I just want a little bit of sparkle and I'm just going to use my take your pick tool and I'm going to use the gold ones here. So this is, I, I really don't have another way to use embellishments except I just put them in threes. So if you guys, I don't know, do you guys do something different with your embellishments? I mean, sometimes I'll put them kind of in the middle of a flower or something, but I don't feel like that. This card lends itself to that. So I am just... Putting, I always do this. I do two in the top on an angle from each other and then one in the bottom left. I should probably um, try something a little different. So if you've been watching my Facebook Lives for a while, this will be no surprise to you where I've placed these pearls. Um, so what do you guys think about that? Do you guys have a preference between the two? So we've got the pretty peacock and then we've got the rich razzleberry. And I really want, I'm not moving on until I see comments about which one you guys like better. How about that? And while I'm waiting for your comments, I'm going to tidy up this space 
and we will get started on the next card. Hello, Bessie. Hi, Tamizan. Oh, it's nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining. Okay, so tell me which color you guys like better, and then I will move on to the next project, which is not a card. It is actually a cute little tin, Rich Razzleberry. Okay, so you like this one better, Lorraine? Thank you. Thanks for humoring me. I'd love to hear from some others what you, which card you like better. Okay, so I'm going to put these away, and then we will get started on the next project. Okay, so let's move this aside. And the next project, oh my goodness, if, if only you could see, I think you see like a really small area here when you uh, watch the videos, but oh, if you could only see what the rest of my space looks like right now. Okay, so the next project we are going to do is we are going to make these little, we're going to use the rectangle tins, and I'll show you where these are in the catalog. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate you being neutral. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to actually have to look in the index. So this is a great feature of our uh, catalogs is that they actually have an index with little thumbnails that you can see of each of the products and then they're categorized. So I'm looking in the packaging section. Rectangle tins are on page 55. And I'll just show you them in the catalog just so you can see how they can be used. So. Um, it's on page 55. They come in a package of four and they are $16.25 each. $16.25, sorry, for a box of four. And you can see that you can really decorate them by just keeping it simple or you can step it up and add some texture embossing and a little bit more uh, technique to the last one. So we're going to use the same bundle of products and I'll show you what the box looks like. So they come in a box like this. And they're pretty sizable. Now, I have unfortunately eaten all the candy in my craft room, so I couldn't actually fit any in here. But I've created this belly band, and you can open up. It looks like an Altoids container, so you could put mints in there. You could put little chocolates, candy, or you could um, actually create a folding. I think it's called a concertina card that is like a, uh, it folds over on itself, almost like a little accord, not an accordion, but you know, um, yeah, it folds over on itself and then you can put that in there. So you can actually put a card in there that coordinates with this. So I'm using some slightly different uh, products on this one. So I'm still using the Love of Leaves, but I'm actually using the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper on this one, okay? So I've already cut out uh, my Designer Series paper and I was about to show you how these look when you get them. So they're individually wrapped in plastic and then they're separated by little cardboard pieces so they're pretty well protected in there. And um, so we are just going to decorate this. So I've cut out some designer series paper. I did find that when I did um, my first one that I maybe should have cut the designer series paper a little bit wider. So I did do that with the second one. So the width of this designer series paper is two inches by eight inches wrapped around. So with this one, I'm actually doing two and a half inches by eight inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, where's the top of my box? So I actually want the uh, designer series paper, the seam to sit at the top of the box because I'm actually going to cover it with uh, part of this with the circle okay so I'm just holding that there and I'm putting one strip of adhesive right there and then you don't want to stick it to the box because then whoever you're giving it to will have to rip the paper off the box in order to open it so I'm going to do the same thing with the other side so this gilded autumn designer series paper is beautiful and every time I put adhesive on this beautiful metallic foil side it pains me a little bit but I do want the um, I want the striped side showing. So I'm just going to center that. And I'm gonna put that down like so, okay? So both of the seams are on the same side. And the reason that I want the seams facing up is because I'm going to cover it with this gold circle, which I can actually stick down right now. So you can see what I mean. All right, so we're going to stick that down. And now we're going to do some cutting of our leaves. So I'm gonna, um, I'm using some coordinating colors. And for those of you that know me, you'll be shocked. I'm gonna use Cajun Craze. It's, I would say of all the Stampin' Up! colors, 
in this um, catalog. Uh, it's my the one that I use the least. I won't say it's my least favorite. I don't pick favorites, just like my kids. But it's the one that I use the least, okay? So I will only ever, in fact, I actually don't think I owned this color until this year. Um, I will only use it at fall and only if it coordinates with the colors of my designer series paper, okay? So I know that's shocking, but I think it looks very pretty with this project. All right, so I'm just stamping both of these and I need to get out the dies again and I'm going to again use the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I see, I see your shocked faces, Lorraine, I see it. <laughs> you must be proud of me. I'm making, I'm making some progress. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Terry's shocked too. I know. You've seen it here. It's, it's on video. It's going to be recorded. There's proof that I used Cajun Craze. Okay. So we are going to now cut that out. And I've just got all my dies here on the uh, on a magnetic sheet so that they don't all fly around and there are two of these leaves they point in different directions so like i said it lends itself really nicely to layering you can create a really nice kind of arrangement of the leaves and so i'm just going to line that up my hands are kind of shaking a little bit there we go it doesn't have to be perfect um, you just want it more or less centered, I guess. And so now I'm just going to put my clear plate on top and I'm just going to roll it through. Now, previously with our uh, former tool, I found that my platform and plates were always kind of like rubbing up against the inside of the tool. And so I would often kind of like break the seams of my embossing folders or I would kind of fray the platforms. I love that our new uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine has room for you to put your platforms down. It's got a little bit of room on either side, so it doesn't actually, uh, it's not ruining my, my plates or platforms. I've used it several times already, and uh, I, I am in love with this tool. If you don't have it or have any uh, die cutting and embossing machine, I would highly recommend it. And actually, you can get this as part of your starter kit. So if you like this tool, it's regularly $163. It would make way more sense for you to get it as part of the starter kit because then you would only be paying $125 and you would get two stamp sets and you would get 16 card packets and a package of rhinestones. So there's, um, there's lots of additional freebies with the starter kit. So it's definitely the best value. Okay, so now we are ready to assemble. This is a leaf that I had pre-cut. Um, and so I'm just going to stick that down right onto the circle. So the circle I've used, I've used a brushed metallic cardstock as well. And then I'm just going to snip off part of the stem here because I don't want it hanging out the bottom. And I'm just going to adhere that like so. And then we are missing one more leaf. Okay, so we want this one to kind of just go in the other direction over here. And then I'm just going to tie, Lorraine, I'm just reading your comment about my relationship, my relationship with Cajun Craze, yes. Well, I have to say that we are, we are moving forward, Cajun Craze and I, we are getting along a little better. <laughs> okay, I know I'm being a bit dramatic. I don't hate it. Um, okay, so I am nearly done with this project. What do you guys think of this? It's super cute, isn't it? The tins are really cute. Here's what I'm thinking. So I am going back to work and uh, I work in the school system. I'm not a teacher, uh, but we've been undergoing training and just listening a lot to, you know, kind of what protocols are going to look like. And I have to say, I have so much uh, respect and admiration and hope for teachers. I can't even imagine this is, is going to be a stressful time returning to school. I am 
nervous about my kids going back, um, but I think that the impact of them not going is going to be potentially more detrimental than the impact of them going back. So I know, you know, lots of people think differently about this issue, but um, I, I do feel like my kids just, they need a little bit more normalcy and I mean, as much normalcy as you can get being in school with masks on and stuff. But anyways, I had teachers in my, in my mind today when I was designing my projects because I just thought, wouldn't this be nice to put some little treats in here and send this back, send this to school. Um, <laughs> although I don't know if they'll be able to take it or touch it, but uh, just send it with some treats to my kids' teachers, just to let them know that we are thinking about them and that we are grateful and appreciative of what they're doing. So um, anyway, so those are the little tins. I hope you like those and I'll bring back the other projects again. And these are the card. This is the card that I made. So I hope that you enjoyed that. And uh, I hope that if you have this bundle that today's live inspired you to use it. And if you don't already have it, like I said, you can purchase it from my online store. And um, I would love to have you shop with me and spoil you with some goodies. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. I would love for you to share the video if you feel like your friends might enjoy it. And I will be back here next Wednesday, hopefully at 2 p.m. with some new projects to share with you. I hope you all have a great evening and I will see you soon. Bye for now.